we appreciate all the support we have received from family, friends, players, Cricket Australia and the general public. Cricket was Philip's life and we as a family shared that love of the game with him. We would like to thank all the medical and nursing staff at St Vincent's Hospital and Cricket New South Wales medical staff for their great efforts with Philip. We love you. It's an understatement to say that we are completely devastated. Our grief runs deep and the impact of Philip's loss is enormous. But nothing compares to the loss felt by those close to him. Philip was a cherished son, brother, friend and teammate. In these darkest hours, cricket puts its collective arms around the Hughes family. Philip Hughes died playing the sport he loved amongst those that loved him. His final shot typified this approach and his approach to the game. Aggressive, positive and defiant. Our thoughts and prayers remain with his family and the players today. Thank you. Philip took the blow at the side of the neck and as a result of that blow, his vertebral artery, one of the main arteries leading to the brain, was compressed by the ball. That caused the artery to split and, to ble and for bleeding to go up into the brain. And he had a massive bleed into his brain. This is frequently fatal at the time. The head injury that uh, he suffered was catastrophic. He arrived well intubated and being resuscitated very well. It was our recognition that the first priority in this situation is to get an urgent CAT scan of the head to determine what we can do. This CAT scan occurred very early and it was early recognised that we had to make an intervention into the brain to actually help get the pressure down in the brain. We went to theatre and had extensive surgery to remove some of the skull around his brain to help allow the brain to expand so it wasn't compressed. The surgery took about an hour and 20 minutes or so and he was transferred back to the intensive care unit. This would be our normal procedure. After this, we need to induce a coma to rest the patient and rest the brain and look after all the other bodily functions for him. Over a period of the first 24 to 48 hours, as we know, he did not make very much improvement. And unfortunately, as a consequence of the injury, he died. 